Hey y'all, Mike here from All American Reviews, and today I'm talking about how to find bags of all varieties made in the USA. Now there are a lot of different types of bags out there, and so today I'm going to focus on more your everyday carry type stuff. So things like tote bags, briefcases, I'll cover some backpacks, handbags and purses. I'm not going to cover luggage and travel bags, as well as more your outdoor backpacks for camping and stuff like that. I'll make sure to hit those in future videos. So we got a lot to cover today. I'm going to cover how to find the American made stuff, our top picks for American made bags, and then stick around to the end of the video where we'll be uncovering where some of the biggest name brands in bags are actually made. Now we've also written about this exact same topic before like always, so check in the description below for a link to those articles or you can just Google All American Reviews plus whatever type of bag that you're searching for and chances are we've written about it. Uh, and last thing, if you guys are passionate about buying American-made products like this video, subscribe to our channel. Make sure to head over to allamericanreviews.com. There you're gonna find a ton of research and buying guides on shopping American-made. All right, let's get into today's video on how to find bags made in the USA. Now there's a lot of different types of materials that go into bags and they really run the gamut. Everything from leather to cotton to canvas. And so we're gonna cover all of those major categories. You also wanna make sure that you're looking out for the hardware as well. So stuff like zippers, latches, and other accessories around the bag, and making sure that those are also sourced from the US. We've talked a lot about leather on this channel, and just to recap, there's a lot of good options for sourcing cowhide in the US. It's just when you get into some of those more exotic leathers, where sourcing in the US becomes a little bit more difficult. And you also wanna make sure that the leather is tanned in the US as well. Moving on to canvas and cotton, the textile bags and canvas mills industry in the U.S. is very large. I think in 2019 they did over $3 billion in sales and employing thousands of American workers. Now there's a lot of good options for sourcing those materials in the U.S., but there's obviously a ton of overseas manufacturing when it comes to cotton, canvas, and other textiles like that. So just watch out for country of origin there. Uh, places like Central America and Asia are two just big hotspots for manufacturing those materials. While hardware is sometimes a negligible part of the bag, I still think it's important to cover because it provides function. If your zipper's broke, then your bag becomes way less useful. When it comes to zippers specifically, there's really one company that dominates them all. Have you ever looked at your bag or your pair of jeans and wonder what YKK stands for? Well, it's a Japanese company that makes over 7 billion zippers per year. Now, the good news is that they do have a lot of U.S. manufacturing facilities employing a lot of American workers, and there are a lot of newer American zipper companies that are providing some competition for YKK. So, whether it's a zipper or some other hardware, just make sure to check the country of origin. When you're shopping in store, you should be able to see it on the bag or packaging thanks to Title 19, Chapter 4, Section 1304 of the U.S. Code that requires it for products that are imported. Now, if you're shopping online, it doesn't necessarily reach that far. So, unfortunately, you may have to do a little bit of digging on their website to find the country of origin or give the brand a call or hit us up at All American Reviews and we'll help find out for you. I have a full video on how to tell if a product is made in the USA, which I've linked to above that y'all can check out. Now that we've covered some tips on how to spot bags that are made in the USA, let's get into our top picks for American made bags. We have a lot of them, but we don't necessarily have time to cover every single bag that is made in the USA in this video. So for all of our research on bags, make sure to head over to All American Reviews, which I've linked in the description below. But like I said earlier, you can just Google All American Reviews plus whatever bag that you are searching for and we've likely written about it. Also, make sure to comment below if you have a favorite American-made bag that you wanna shout out. First up is Cayman Road. We came across Cayman Road a few years ago and really like a lot of their bags. They partner with a lot of small US farms to source their materials and just in general have a really ethical production process. I recommend that you check out their Coyote Thunder Field Bag, which is a great over-the-shoulder carry and briefcase. And if you're looking for something a little bit larger and maybe to travel with, their Weekender is a great bag as well. Next is Jenny and Design. 
Jenny and Design is a one woman shop in Dallas, Texas, and she is making some great bags out of her home studio. Everything from tote bags to backpacks and a bunch of other varieties. Kristen really likes her classic collection handbags in particular. She'll even do something custom for you and everything is handmade. Next is Artifact. Artifact just got started in 2010 and is making a lot of great bags in several varieties. Everything from tote bags to briefcases to crossbody bags and a ton more. I really like their wax twill and leather backpack in particular. They have a ton of different style options for both men and women, so definitely check out Artifact. Next is Stephanie Dawn. Now, if you're looking for an alternative to Lily Pulitzer bags, which are imported, Stephanie Dawn is a great made in the USA option. They have that quilted cotton material with a lot of colorful patterns that has been a really popular style for many years. So if that's your thing, definitely check out Stephanie Dawn. Next is Lifetime Leather. Now we've covered Lifetime Leather before in our videos on wallets and belts, but they're also making some great bags too. They have a great leather tote bag, a toiletry bag for traveling, which I'll cover more in future videos, and a great high quality leather duffel bag that is at least a couple hundred dollars cheaper than other similar bags on the market. So if you're looking for a really high quality, affordable, all full grain leather bag, definitely check out Lifetime Leather. Next is Duluth Pack. Now these guys have been around for a really long time and for good reason. Duluth Pack makes some great packs, especially for outdoor enthusiasts. A lot of their bags have a thick canvas body and a leather handle and a lot of different style and color options, pretty much everything you can think of. These bags are super durable, so a Duluth Pack backpack or other style of bag is definitely going to last you a lifetime. Next is Billy Kirk. Billy Kirk makes a lot more than just bags, but I really like their briefcases in particular. The Schoolboy Satchel is a classic leather briefcase, and they also have a lot of canvas options as well. Their backpacks are really nice too, and a great carry to work option, so if you need something like that, I think Billy Kirk is a really good fit. Next is Frost River. The Frost River Trading Company puts a ton of care into each and every bag that they make in their facilities in Minnesota. They are also super transparent about where they are sourcing all of their materials, which in this day and age is really refreshing. I really like their day packs in particular, but Frost River has a ton of different options for everything from briefcases to backpacks and a bunch of other styles of bags, so definitely check out Frost River. And the last brand I'll cover in today's video is Copper River Bag Company. If you're looking for a high quality camera bag, Copper River Bag Company is it. Their Voyager, Sonoma, and Lewis and Clark series are some of my favorites that are really high quality camera bags and they also make a lot of other non-camera bag styles as well. They are made from full grain leather and overall just a really rock solid option. All right, now let's get to some frequently asked questions. First up, are Kate Spade bags made in the USA? And the answer is no, these popular designer handbags are made in Asia. Next are Filson bags made in the USA. Filson is a well-renowned outdoor brand that really pushes an American heritage messaging. Now, not all of their bags are 100% made in the USA though. They assemble a lot of their products here, but are importing a lot of the materials that they use in them. Fortunately, they are pretty transparent on their site about which products are imported and which are not which is nice. And lastly, are Tumi bags made in the USA? Tumi is known for their luggage and travel bags, but unfortunately they are imported mostly from China. Now I know I did not cover a ton of luggage options in today's video, so make sure to check back on our channel a little bit later for a full video on luggage options. All right, that's it for today's video on how to find bags made in the USA. If you have any questions, drop a comment below or shoot us a message at All American Reviews and we'll find out for you and write something up. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. And thanks for supporting your country and shopping American made. See y'all next time.